Hi everybody, nice to meet you again on the product review in South Esteem channel. The online video clip card review product. Today I ride back to meet all of you with the cardio product review. Today I would like to introduce about the functional hybrid amplifier on the review. This amplifier is a Harmotech T4, the functional hybrid amplifier that's very popular now in Thailand and in Southeast Asia. Before starting the review, I would like to brief you up about the hybrid amplifier trend in the market. If you are the car audio enthusiast, you will know that the hybrid amplifier is very well known since last four or five years. Why hybrid is coming back? The hybrid amplifier looks like the fashion trend when the welcome tube and the vinyl will be right back again. It is similarly. So about the hybrid amplifier, the designer would like to bring in up the highlight of the electronic component, just like the welcome tube and the bipolar transistor to mix up operation for keep up the highlight to bring in up the sound quality to the consumer. So about the welcome tube, the welcome tube had the highlight about the sound quality in the analog style had the more harmonic had the sound look like the analog that I say. So for the bipolar transistor have the st stabilized on the operation had the quick response about the transient signal. So when two components has to be mixed up operation that will bring up the sound quality and the stability and also have the good performance for the operation. Now today in Thailand market and another region will have the hybrid amplifier. So many brands in the market. About the Hammertech has would be focused to the mid to the high end market. About the T series, T series is a new coming up hybrid lineup for Hammertech that would be launched in Thailand just about one year later. So for the T series, it's a uh, had the operation on the hybrid topology. So. When it's launched in the market, had uh, two model to be fighting up in the market. One is a T4 that's to be reviewed today, and another one is a T2 in the stereo topology. So before starting the review, I has a briefing up. You will have the more detail about the hybrid amplifier. And the next step, I will bring up about the another part of this amplifier. Okay, I will be demonstration about the T4 packaging. If you see the packaging is designed very simple, just look like the high-end cardo product in the market. The high-end product most uh, designed for the packaging with the simple style. Because the, the cardo maker would be concentrated about the main product, did not concern about the cosmetic or the packaging. So, about the T4, the T4 has used from the paper brown and has the some logo on the top. And in the size, you will have see the black sticker. The black sticker will have the Hamatek logo and also have the specification about the T4 is a functional hybrid amplifier that have the power output just allow the 80 watt IMS by 4 and can handle to the 2 ohm also and another characteristic another specification is a uh, very good for the this amplifier okay about the packaging is very very simple so follow me I will demonstration to another part. Okay, 
I will demonstration to the chassis and the layout on the control panel and the connector. So the chassis of the Hamatech T4 had designed from aluminum die cast and anodized on the surface in the titanium look. So on the body, you will see that on the top plate, we have the hissing and to the back plate also have hissing. So on the top, it will have a laser cut for the Hamatech logo. And we have the product motto through audio file that would be addressed. Hamatech would be concerned about the sound quality. So on that side, you will see the glass window. This glass window is used for showing up the vacuum tube inside when it operates and would be bringing up the light on this window. And the panel on the side, both sides have the aluminum panel that's chrome on the surface that would be putting up the overall chassis in the rectangular shape to really look smart and look high end. So about the control panel on the side, you will see that it has to dedicate in two zones. That zone is a connector and a control panel and another zone is a connector. So on the control panel, one control panel is used for two channel. That means T4 will have the two set of the control set. So the control panel will have the electronic crossover point adjustment and the crossover mode. It can operate in the full length and the high path filter. So it also has the gain control for the input. The overall knob and the overall connector will have the cup, um, gold pair. It's very nice and to prevent the oxide on the surface. So about the this zone that we have the speaker connector and the power supply connector. The overall of the Hamotech T4 chassis looks nice and had the style of the high-end product that will bring up the interesting when the consumer had looking up to the disc amplifier. Okay, follow me to the next step. This is the internal part and internal structure of a Hamatech T4. You will see the nice layout that the Hamatech very concerned about the symmetrical operation of the circuit. The PCB is a use of um, grass epoxy two side and uh, press two hole. So about the copper, you will see that it had a big line of the copper. So for the bringing up the current and the voltage transfer. So first I would be demonstration about the power supply. In this area is the power supply for T4. T4 uses a switching power supply. On the input section, we'll have the fluoride choke to filter the noise from the DC voltage. And also have the big capacitor just allow 3,300 microfarad to filter the voltage and feeding up to the big toroidal coil. So about the switching circuit that use the uh, SG3525 chip to be operate and support the frequency to feeding up for the power supply. And the output has the four capacitor about the 2200 microfarad to filter the DC voltage very, very flat. Second part, I will show you about the input section. On this area is an input section. Input section has used the op amp ne 552 chip to be support for the input differentiate, support for the electronic crossover network, and another control for the input. 
the part or the component that used in this amplifier mostly use the SMD, SMD for the compact size and less consume the area for the PCB. The highlight for the input section is the drive of the input that use the vacuum tube. The vacuum tube that use is the electro harmonic from Russia. The vacuum tube number is 6922. 6922. That's very famous in the audio firm. Usually used for the old firm. So this vacuum tube is a dual triode that use one welcome tube take care for the two channel amplifier so after that the signal pass the welcome tube will be feed through the amplifier section this is an amplifier section you will see the inputs and the drive section that use the module why use the module um how much that use the module for consume the less area about the pcb and this module had the drive state for the um, amplifier section that used the bipolar transistor and the SMD chip. So after that, that will be feeding up the signal to the final state of the amplifier. On the final state that used the mesh pair transistor from Senken, uh, the number is 2AC2837. And another one is a 2SA116, sorry, 1186. So this map pair transistor had a high characteristic. So for the information that I have, this transistor can support more than 100 watt. That means the standard specification that's how much it claim is a 80 by 4 watt. The transistor in the output section can support more than 100 watt. That means when you use the instantaneous power, that will be swinging up over than 100 watt. This is a secret why the D75 has a more lesser power. Okay, the overall for the capacitor, the red capacitor in the input and in the amplifier section, that's you the polypropylene from the Weimar Germany. That is the high performance capacitor that also used in this amplifier. About the vacuum tube, that I said, this is the 6922 vacuum tube from the Ecto Harmonic Russia. Nowadays, this vacuum tube is really quite popular for the car audio industry and the home audio that mostly used for the dive set for the hybrid amplifier. This vacuum tube had the high line in the low noise and high gain and also transfer the sound quality looks like the musical. This is a high performance vacuum tube also have in the T4. If you see the overall that I said, I will take it very, very serious about for the selection the part in the internal of T4 the high performance the high grade and the good design the overall will bring enough T4 to be sparking the performance on the outstanding okay in the next section I will show you about the the review Okay, follow me. Now I will show you about the review. When I got this T4, this is a new one. Okay, first step I has uh, connected this MB5 for running in. I use uh, at least uh, 30 hours to be running in for optimum point before starting the review. About the reference system that I use to review with this amplifier, I use the JVC KD HS1000 single CD head unit. The interconnect, I use a Police Audio S100 Pro. 
and the speaker I use uh, Boswick Steam 6.5. The first step when I connected the system and starting running in in the JU style, I got the sound from the this MP5. The highlight I think the mid length and the high frequency is um has a has a more detail and the uh, high accuracy about the sound. So about the mid mid bass and the sub bass it uh, has a less sub bass and mid bass. That is normal cause of the most of the component inside this amplifier they don't to have to running in for the optimum point. So after I pass the thirty hours, I'm starting to review with the um, many track of uh, audio file CD that I use for the assemble. I use the the greater of basso is a Chinese um, orchestra and chamber music. It had a more punching in the many track. So I let's start the um, review with uh, this CD. So I can got that the T4 can deliver the punching and the attack is very clearly. That means the mid bass had a very clear you can perceived about the sound of the drum however the the power that punch to the drum that would be transferred very clearly so and the mid length and the high frequency that also deliver the high accuracy of the sound and the most of the detail and also the sound is a uh, very bright that's all and that's okay. So I had to change to another CD track which is um, easy listening style just like the, the best female warrior of a bum with a female singer. After I used this um, CD album I got that the T4 can deliver the good tonal accuracy just starting from the mid bass, mid length and the high frequency you can reach up to the characteristic of the female singer how she sing how she control the wind from the inside the body it has a more detail when you listen that would be has a very enjoyable so if you want to listen about the conclusion of the d in my opinion, the T4 is the good hybrid 4 channel amplifier in the market. So, for the product positioning that um, Hamotech that focus for the mid end to the high end, I think Hamotech can reach up and break up this point. Most overall of the sound was really, really nice, had a good detail, had a good tonal. Uh, also power is okay to transfer to the speaker so if you want to purchase the functional hybrid amplifier i think hamotech t4 can answer your demand and less fun you need on the system okay today i will review just only that so if you want to follow me on the YouTube, you can access to the my channel that the uh, worldwideweb.youtube.com slash soundstmac. And if you want to reading up the review article of this Amplify and another product that I review, you can follow us on my website worldwideweb.soundstmac.com. And if you want to follow me on the fan page. Please press like on my fan page, World Wide Web, Facebook.com slash SoundSTMAC. Hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye bye.